Hi, Pisces. Welcome. We started with the energy of the day today, which Don drew. And as you can see, it's caretaker. And caretaker is from the wonderful Return of Spirit deck by Cheryl Lee Harnish. It's an amazing deck. I absolutely love it. Now, because it's an absolutely new deck, I'm going to read to you what this means. If I can. <laughs> I may have... I may have to have Don do it. Okay, it says, you are an endless giver. If anyone has a need or requires assistance in any way, you are right there to help. Essentially, you are an earth angel. Every life you touch is made better, whether you know it or not. Your heart is big, and the support and love you give is even bigger. You are the one, you are one of the souls who are here to either nurture the world or the people in it. However, there comes a time when we have to consider our own needs over others. We have to make our own well-being a priority, even if that means it may not please others. You have to come first right now although it may feel as though it's going against your very nature to do so it's vital that you put yourself first your physical and your emotional well-being needs to be nurtured and maintained this ensures that when you do give someone give to someone else what you give has substance your personal value cannot be defined solely in what or how much you give to others. Your value and worth as a person comes from all the incredible qualities that make you. That make you you. <laughs> Maybe this is the time you finally say no or create a boundary. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? In some way, it's time to give to yourself and restore a balance in your life. You are a beautiful soul with much, much to give and a beautiful soul who deserves to receive. If there's something you need or if you could use a little assistance, Spirit is encouraging you to allow others the opportunity to give to you. You know from your own experience how good it feels to give. So now you need to give the ultimate gift and allow someone else to give to you. It's time to allow the caretakers to be taken care of. Now, that's kind of exactly what I did myself a couple of years ago. I finally allowed somebody to give. And there was a time when you gave too. So, and it's not an easy thing to do. With that being said, let's see what's in store for Pisces. Let's. And you got the feminine. Or you just got. I just got office. Pisces. You got Pisces. I got Pisces. Let's see how we need them. In. They're already jumping. They are. They were. Okay, so Pisces, you have the full moon in Sagittarius, and it says to look at the bigger picture. Sometimes we get so focused on things that we don't necessarily understand or care to see any more than what's right in front of us, be it our emotions or our physical needs. Yes, our physical needs. And this card is encouraging you to take time out and look at the bigger picture of things. How does it fall into the wholeness of the relationship that you're in, the relationship that you're leaving, the way that you interact with your family and whatnot? Let your emotions be a guide and sit down and look at how you got to those emotions in the first place. 
from the Enchanted Map Oracle cards, we got the elephant, and it says listening. And sometimes when you're looking at the bigger picture, you have to listen to the emotions that other people are trying to figure out how to communicate. It's not always easy when we're stuck in our own emotions, but nobody really just goes off willy-nilly acting out for no reason. There's something that caused them to respond or react the way that they do. And this is, these two cards are encouraging you to maybe dig a little deeper and find out why someone is acting the way that they are. You have you have a lot of struggles and trying to find balance and trying to, I don't know, maybe just try to come into your own place. You feel like you're on guard and you're constantly defending yourself. But the, the ultimate reality of it is, is love. And love is about choices too. It's about choosing to understand a partner and choosing to understand that you're on the same team and choosing to understand that they have desires and needs and emotions as well. It looks like it's kind of been, it's kind of been making you sick with the five of pentacles upside down. And you're not, you're not really taking, you're trying to hoard all of your things. It's almost like you, you just picked up your toys and went home and didn't really, didn't really decide what the other person had to say or do was relevant because it didn't match yours. What are you going to add, Alice? Wow, a lot of things here. Okay. All right, Pisces, I'm just going to say this is a time to either shit or get off the pot. That's the message I'm getting here because I see you having a lot of excitement about all di kinds of different opportunities, which may cause some confusion. And I see... You are about to miss some kind of opportunity because you will not make a choice. Now, um, I also see about some of the choices that you've made in the past haven't been so good. So that may be why you're afraid of making choices is because, you know, it hasn't worked out so well in the past. It's caused a lot of pain and heartache for all parties involved. You ended up losing money because of your choices. Um, and I feel like the choices have to do with you releasing your burdens on people you love. Which, you know, usually it's the people that we love that make us upset, but... Uh, it, it seems to me like in this scenario, um, the message I'm getting is that, that you really need to look at yourself and, uh, cause I got this immense hangman's energy and that's what I feel, you know, that as your outcome, that this is the advice from spirit. What you need to do is basically get another perspective. Because I'm not feeling like I'm not feeling like um yeah, there's a four again. There's the four of swords twice. You need it. We also have to look. You have the lovers reverse. Yeah, I down. have the lovers right side up. Of the, the five of pentacles. Yeah. But see, these are all clarifying these. Right. And I got the seven of cups twice. I got the four of swords twice. 
And this is all about your choices and how you make them. And that's what you need to shit or get off the pot on is how you're making your choices and where you're making them from. Um, I feel a big push on that. Um, that's the current energy I'm feeling on the collective. And Lord, I'll tell you what. I can see this happening because it's been a really hard few months coming into these new energies and, and having to look at ourselves and having to shed what isn't so. It's been a lot of heartache. That makes us not want to jump. I get that too. Um, so I'm really kind of resonating with these cards, even though they're not mine. We're all connected. What are the other signs that are showing? It looks like Taurus, Cancer. There's Cancer, Aquarius, Leo. Aries, Sagittarius, there's a lot of them. I don't really go by signs, though. I go by energy because we have all this energy. It doesn't matter what sign it is. I mean, we can seem like we're any sign at any given moment, depending on and the Pisces, situation. And Pisces is a combination of all the signs. Yes. So, I mean, I'm not looking at this as a love reading. I'm looking at this as an opportunity for you to ascend and turn your life around. Um, that's the message that I have from Spirit. That if things are not going wrong and you seem to have all these opportunities and you seem to be making the wrong choices, the overall message from for you is to take a look at where and how you're making your decisions and try to change that up a little bit. Um, and if you do that and you do it the right way, because I'm seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of swords and wands here, basically. It is. And if you do that, if you let that tower fall within yourself, there's new beginnings. There's new beginnings of a world with the right choices. That's what I got for you, Pisces. We'll see you next time. Blessed be, be blessed, and namaste. Have a great day.